I'm going to do ATP testing for the counter cloth as well as our kitchen cloth on the um, chopping board. First, I'm going to cut off with a, just a normal stainless steel knife. Right. Smear it. Then, I'm going to use a ceramic knife. Okay, so both sides have it. Then, I'm just going to smear it a bit all over. Put it back here. Right. And then, now, I'm going to start the swap test. Here, the swap is here. So, I've taken out a swap. And I'm going to swap the stainless steel knife first. One. Okay, so it's this side. Leave it for a count of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the machine, is it? It's not, the machine went off again. Ah, okay. New tests. Uh, okay, and start. All right, let's see. Let's see how much this is. After one cut of a chicken, oh wow, because it's an immediate fresh cut, it actually registered 170809RLU. That is from the stainless steel knife. Now, I'm going to do it on the ceramic knife. I'm going to press it to new. Okay, I'm going to do it on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. On the ceramic knife, let's see how much RLU has been picked up by this knife. Okay. Oh, equal um, 8389. It's quite as high as the, um, or oh, not as high as the stainless steel. The stainless steel had a six digit. And now I'm going to test it on the cutting board. That's the cutting board. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, it's five hundred and forty five two nine, five hundred thousand, five four zero five two nine, because it's an immediate fresh cut from the chicken. Alright, so now I am going to clean, do I have enough inside here? Yes, I do. Alright, I'm going to clean um, the stainless steel knife with um, the kitchen cloth. Should I do both sides? So I'm just wiping it. Oh, it's this side, yeah? It's this side. 
I'm just wiping it with a kitchen cloth. Right. And I wiped it about four times. So I did five times. Alright? It was this side that I tested. And I will now test it and see. So it was this side with the brand outside. Okay. Start. Very impressive. Sixty two RLU left. After wiping the stainless steel kitchen knife with the kitchen cloth. How many percent is that? That is 99.9% .9 removal of the ATP. Okay, let me take this out. And now let's do it on the ceramide uh, uh, knife. But this time I'm going to use the counter cloth because I think this is proven. If it removes so much from the stainless steel, it will remove the ceramide. So I want to try a new cloth, which is our counter cloth. And I'm going to do the same wipe of this side. Okay, I think I did five wipes, not sure, forgot to count. Take another one. Uh, I, okay. So I'm going to do the same. Okay, in it goes. And let's start. Very impressive too. It's got it down to 80 RLU. Okay, and that is wiping the ceramic knife with the counter cloth. Also 99.9%. So do I have two left? Yes, perfect. I have two left. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use, I'm going to wipe one side of the uh, cutting board with the counter cloth and the other side with the um, kitchen cloth, right? Let me do it with the counter cloth first. Let me take the knives away. And it's this side, the non-hole side. Okay, it's done. So it's this side that I'm going to test. Here it goes, and let's start. Okay, it removed a lot. One left now is 1025 RLU against, um, I believe it was 170,000 on the cutting board just now. It was 170809. That's a removal of 99.8% of the ATP 
uh, from the surface. Oh, sorry, it was not 170,000. 170,000 was what was caught on the knife. It was actually 540,000 RLU on the cutting board, all right? So now I'm going to use the kitchen cloth and I have not washed the kitchen cloth. It is still the same kitchen cloth that I have used to clean the stainless steel knife. So now I'm going to clean it. And what I'm doing this time is, I am not going to change the side. I'm still using the same side to wipe over the, the cutting board. Okay, I'm going to put it up this side so I know exactly which side I use. And now I'm going to test the side that I have wiped with the kitchen cloth. All right, and in it goes. The counter cloth did a better job. It has left 2173 RLU. Again, I think it'll be more than 99%. is 99.6%. Fabulous. I think our cloth can do really a fabulous job in cleaning the ATP surface of any, well, keeping your surface clean.